Ciao, my name is Max and this is my YouTube channel where I explore all kinds of musical stuff. And today we're going to see how to properly rewire Sibelius to Ableton Live. As you can see here, I have a blank project with some string instances, by the way, free library. If you want to go check that out, I will put um, a video that I did about it um, here or in the link down in the description or here, I don't know, whatever. Go and check that out because it's really insane. So yeah, there's no MIDI clips, nothing at all. But when I hit play, wow, there is sound now and music. Wow, what's happening? Okay, there is no magic. Uh, that's pure technology. And what's happening here actually is that I have my Sibelius running aside with my Ableton and it sends uh, MIDI data to it. My playback is as well synced in, so all the bars are corresponding to each other. You can see that. This is a little bit tricky to set up, so I wanted to share with you guys the process. Yeah, but couldn't you just put the MIDI clips in Ableton and that's it? You might say, and you might be actually right, because this is faster like that. But maybe you're more confident writing on a music sheet than piano roll, or maybe you're working with an arranger, or perhaps you would like to hire um, other musicians to play your music. Therefore, you need the score to give them something where they can read the music from. And I'm sorry, no piano roll screenshots will be okay for this. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Sibelius, as well as other notation software will serve this purpose. Okay, clear that, let's go and dive into the tutorial. Basically, we have to achieve two different things. Link MIDI coming out from Sibelius to Ableton and make sure the programs are running in rewire mode. So let's start with MIDI. What we're going to do is create MIDI cables inside our system. As in real life, you need MIDI cables to hook up different devices, such as sequencer and the synthesizer. In this case, it's Sibelius and Ableton. And this step is different on PC and Mac. I'm gonna show both, so bear with me. I'll start with PC. On PC, we have to download an external program which will create a MIDI cable for us. And there are plenty of them online, but my recommendation is Loop MIDI by Tobias Ericsson, uh, which has been working flawlessly for me. So let's go on his website. I will just search Loop MIDI in Google. By the way, all the links are down below in the description. And if you are not on this page, but on this page, click on the software tab, select Loop MIDI and download Loop MIDI. Once it's running, let's create a new MIDI cable by clicking on this plus icon. You can add as many as you want, but remember, one MIDI cable is carrying 16 different channels, which are more than enough for our string quartet. On Mac, you have to activate IAC driver, which is already built in your system. Let's search for audio MIDI setup tool. This will open audio devices window. That's not quite what we want. Let's go to the window tab and click on show MIDI studio. Let's select IAC driver. In this tab, click on the activate device button and create a new IAC bus if there isn't one already. Remember, one cable carries 16 different channels. Our MIDI cables are now ready to be used. So let's proceed with the software configuration. Let's start Ableton. Locate any audio track, which by default on a new project are tracks number three and four. And in the audio in tab, select Sibelius. The name might change depending on your Sibelius version. By the way, this will enable a rewire mode in Sibelius once we start it. Okay, let's go ahead and open our Sibelius right now. Here we can check if rewire mode is enabled. Let's go to view, panels, transport. The transport panel will pop up and right in front of the tempo indicator, you will find this X look like a symbol, which is the rewire mode symbol. This means it's on. Now we can hook up our uh, MIDI cables between Sibelius and Ableton. And we can do that by going to play section and right in front of the setup word, you will find this little tiny button, 
which is very hard to see sometimes and everybody's confused. And let's add a new configuration, which we will call Sibleton. Now, it is very important to deactivate this first device, which is the standard one, because further on it will cause issues with sync. Now, let's grab our loop MIDI and activate it and save our configuration. As I already told you, one MIDI cable, one MIDI port, IAC bus, whatever you name it, they carry 16 different channels of MIDI data. Here we are going to set them up right now by going in manual sound sets and checking this box, use manual sound set. Okay, now we activated that. As you can see, 16 number of channels, we need only four of them. Let's go and put four. Now sound settings, channel number one, program name. Let's put violin. Where is violin? Violin, apply. Now our first channel is violin. Let's go ahead and select channel number two. It is unused, we'll uh, put viola. Viola, perfect, apply. Channel number three. Um, cello, where is cello? Cello, apply. Channel number four, let's go with uh, Contrabass, Contrabass, apply. Now we can go ahead and save and close the window. Now we are going to assign all the MIDI channels to our different instruments. So what we're going to do is go to Mixer and it's all collapsed. So let's click this particular button, which will expand it. Okay, now you can see this um, black windows tabs and in the middle let's go and select loop midi port for each one of them okay and below that you'll find uh, your different sound sets that you uh, configured before so we will go and set violin viola for the second one cello for the third one and bass for the last one and as you can see up here it already says channel number one channel number two channel number three and channel number four one more little step to do let's go to file preferences input devices and what you're gonna do here is deactivate all your devices that you're using to play in ableton this will prevent the midi to go back to Sibelius, we don't we don't want that because we will create a feedback in this case. What will happen is Sibelius will start playing all these notes and record them on your score. We don't want that. Let's go back to live in this tab, a uh, MIDI in tab. We'll select a loop MIDI port channel number one. For the violence two, we'll select loop mini port channel number two, and so on. Loop mini port three for violas, loop mini port four for cellos. And I'm just for the sake of it, okay, I will put computer keyboard for my drum rack, which I left for after. Now let's go back to Sibelius and oops. Okay. <laughs> Could you hear that? Now the notes are going through Ableton. Let's go and put this at the side here. And I will go to the note and press P right now. It's going on. That's perfect. Okay, now I can as well record some drums. Yeah, if you think this was helpful for you, press the thumbs up. If you think it was bad, press the thumbs down. And um, if you have any problems at all with this configuration, please comment below, I will respond. Subscribe for sure if you want to see more, if you 
uh, want to see more music from me, subscribe, ring the bell and I see you in the next video. Bye guys!